All right, you are starting module five in language arts. So this is where I am. I'm in Buzz Language Arts, fourth grade, module five. This module is called Traditional Tales, and you'll start with the first lesson. I want to look through this and talk about a couple of things so that you know you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So here you are in the first lesson, and with every single lesson, you've got to make sure starting at the first page, you go through all of the pages. These orange arrows are the ones that are going to click you through the pages of the lesson. You've got some different things up here, but this speech tool, you can toggle that, which means like turn it on and off. So that if you want to use that to read the lesson, you can use it to help. Popping happiness. Pedro is looking in the backyard for his pet frog, who is having a hopping contest with a grasshopper. So even if it's reading it to you, you should still be reading it yourself. Okay, you can speed up or slow down the speed of the reading. Click on this little settings guy here. So you've got a lot of cool tools in here. Every lesson you do has a lot of different parts. So module five, lesson one, you learn about context clues. Um, you find strategies to recognize unknown words. Um, it talks about Greek and Latin affixes, compare and contrast, similar themes, topics, and patterns. Okay, so with Buzz, you've got a few different parts. You've got words, you've got reading, you've got language, and you've got writing. That's why the lessons are long. So you're going to go through and take your time and click on everything. Follow all of the directions that it gives you. If I want to zoom out a little bit maybe 75, maybe 67. Yeah, there we go. Make sure that you click on things. If you skip anything, then it's basically like you missed a class. Okay. So as you go through and you take your time, you've done the word activities and now here you are into reading corner. The owl and the grasshopper. Okay. So anytime you see these little arrows or these little dots, it means there's pages. So you need to actually read this story, okay? Really important. Oh, I see. Now, if I had read the instructions, I would have known. See if you can help Pedro discover in which story Greg appears. Ah. Well, anyway, you're going to follow the directions. Fantastic fables, traditional literature... There are videos, there are activities. It's going to talk about theme, which is something that you're going to use in lots of different lessons. Okay, you need to understand theme. So this anchor chart here, anytime you see the print button, you need to click on it. That's something for you to open. Okay, this is something that if it were me, I would save it to my Google Drive. You could download it to your computer. If you want, you could open it in Kami, and then it'll automatically save it to your Google Drive for you. So at this point, you've spent quite a bit of time going through these first six pages. Then it tells you you're going to be reading a couple of fables. You're going to be comparing the themes. Okay. Printable. Print out a copy to have it ready. So guess what I'm going to do? Open it in Kami. So as I open it in Kami, it's going to upload it to my drive. Ta-da! If it doesn't do that, go up here and click on Save. And you're going to want to upload it to your Google Drive, okay? But I'm going to have this ready. Put your name there, comparing themes. As you read The Owl and the Grasshopper and The Fox and the Crow, you can come back to this tab to add characters, setting, events, problem, solution, theme, all of this. So you're using a graphic organizer based on what you just learned in the lesson. All right. So there's a graphic organizer here that has some information for you to just make sure that you're on the right track. 
So you might go back to that page to, to kind of look and make sure you're doing the right thing. So on page six, you read the owl and the grasshopper. So you have to click on it, otherwise you've missed it. And while you're reading that, it's got these little bubbles. Click on it. It asks you a question or gives you a thought. All right, so you read, fill out your graph. And on the next page, you do the same thing with the fox and the crow. All right. So at this point, you've done words. You've done some uh, some reading skills, which is like understanding theme, and you've read two different stories, and hopefully you've put information in your graphic organizer. So that probably took you at least an hour. So before, before you go on to the writing part, take a break, okay? These lessons have a lot in them. So you might spend an hour on the first part of the lesson early in the day, take a break, do some math, and then maybe you spend an hour on the second part of the lesson later in the day, okay? So you're gonna work with some words, and then it's going to get you into, oh, gets it into your lesson summary. Okay. So taking some time here, doing a little self check. This is your review. This is like your practice because at the end of the lesson, you're going to have a quiz. So in this lesson, you didn't start your big writing for module five yet. Okay. But you did learn a whole bunch of skills that you need to make sure you practice and that you do well when you take your quiz, okay? So if you need to go back through the pages and make sure that you did the activities along the way, that's something that you should do. So that's fourth grade, language arts module five, lesson one. I'm gonna share another video in a little bit to make sure that you understand starting in lesson two, the writing you're gonna be doing in this module.